This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Dr. C is among the best TV series ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Sandra Dickinson played the character Nurse in the series when she was 26 in 1974. See, at the age of 75, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Washington, D.C., USA. Tell the old cow I'll be along in a minute, will you? <laughs> Purser, just do it. Oh, so you're the doctor? Yep. My mother's the old cow. <laughs> a very beautiful woman and didn't mind gurning and clowning <laughs> and um, so she sort of paved the way for yeah. c because a lot of people don't accept women comedians. David Jason played the character Manuel Sanchez in the series when he was 34 in 1974. See, at the age of 84, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Edmonton, London, England. Good morning. You bring me something to eat? Uh, well, um... <clears throat> You saw last night. What did you do with it? I ate it. What, all of it? Yes. And that enormous chicken? Yes. A, a Dell boy. I said, yeah, and I spoke to the writer and I said, what, how did he view uh, Derek Trotter? And he said, oh, he was a guy with a flat cap and a... Robin Nedwell played the character Dr. Duncan Waring in the series when he was 28 in 1974. Sadly, on February 1st, 1999, he left us due to heart attack at 52 in Hedge End, Hampshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. <laughs> Just my little joke, you know? Uh, <clears throat> well, everything's fine, sir, and everybody's very well. Glad to hear it. How do you like being a ship surgeon? Eyes raised to heaven and you count the house. Yes, well, I hold a sort of celestial brief. <laughs> Any more thoughts about my suggestion? Yes, lots. And? And I can see no harm in using the church to make a... Elizabeth Council played the character Nurse Joyce Winton in the series when she was 32 in 1974. See, at the age of 81, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in England, UK. And down here are bandages and dressings, so you see everything is within easy reach. Yes, just the way I like it. <laughs> uh, you probably were... You play. Now they're all women. That should shoot you down to the ground. <laughs> no Marcello would like it, Veronica. You know, dreams of Inter Milan. They're dirty work. Jeffrey Davies played the character Dr. Dick Stewart Clark in the series when he was 36 in 1974. Sadly, on July 13, 2023, he left us due to illness at 84 in England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. It's better. Would you like me to write you a chitty? Yes, please, Doctor. Uh, right. Yeah. Tara Green. So is mine. Well, at least we have something in common. <laughs> How much did you pay for yours then? You're mad. Could have got one like mine for exact. David Prowse played the character Nobby in the series when he was 39 in 1974. Sadly, on November 28, 2020, he left us due to an illness at 85 in London, England, UK. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Congratulations, you really know what you're doing. Always use the Green Cross code, because I won't be there when you cross the road. Oh gosh, what it would have been at the end of, Imp uh, the end of Jedi. Wow. That would have been the last time I spoke to yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what would you say to him now if you, if you, if I could... <laughs> Patricia Hamilton played the character Cecilia Tranmere in the series when she was 37 in 1974. Sadly, on April 30th, 2023, she left us of natural causes at 86 in Stratford, Ontario, Canada. We're deeply saddened by a passing. It's very nice of you to say so. <laughs> now, uh, do you feel any sensation when I do this? Oh, uh, what woman wouldn't? <laughs> As a director for the first time, and I, uh, we were in, we were in a, Pioneer Village outside Hamilton at the time. Richard Bryce played the character Polly Roberts in the series when she was 32 in 1974. See, at the age of 82, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Birmingham, UK. Now that goes without saying. Does it? 
I thought I'd say it anyway. Uh, yes, of course. I, I simply meant that it goes without saying that you must say it. Ernest Clark played the character Captain Norman Lofters in the series when he was 62 in 1974. Sadly, on November 11, 1994, he left us due to illness at 82 at Hinton St. George, Somerset, England, where deeply saddened by his passing. What on earth was that about? Ship surgeon reporting, sir! I know who you are, Dr. Waring. Yes, sir, reporting for duty, sir! Graham Armitage played the character shop assistant in the series when he was 36 in 1974. Sadly, on March 6, 1999, he left us due to illness at 62 in Johannesburg, South Africa, where deeply saddened by his passing. Used to be worth 75 pounds. <laughs> yeah, I'll be with you in one moment, Captain. Harry Toe played the character Charlie in the series when he was 49 years old in 1974. Sadly, on July 24, 2009, he left us due to complications from cancer at 83 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. <laughs> Three kings, gentlemen. Pardon me, friend. I have a full house. <laughs> <laughs> John Grieve played the character Purser in the series when he was 50 years old in 1974. Sadly, on January 21st, 2003, he left us due to cancer at 78 in Glasgow, Scotland. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Purser! <laughs> what? You are a purser. I know that. Ah, yes. now, can you tell us how we get to the captain's cabin for me, please? Captain's cabin, certainly. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Doctor at Sea? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.